Today is just going to be another one of those days where you got to get through it. The wind is tough anyway than when you throw in how dry it is and how dry the air is. Uh, it really is a bad combination that leads us to another day of a red flag warning. Now, you can peel back one layer and really focus in on some of the higher risk areas, and that's going to be for big open areas that are naturally dried out already. Uh, and then you throw in the wind and the lower humidity and through the, much of the morning, we've got a pretty high fire risk. This is red flag conditions. It's gonna be dry and windy, mostly north of 80 off to the west side of the valley, essentially hugging the foothills uh, west of I-5 all the way up to Redding. Now, it, there are some areas of the Delta that are gonna be very windy as well, but that's the highest risk areas. And once we get past noon, that fire risk, while not going to zero, does start to move down a couple categories and then we should be done with the extra fire risk by later on tonight past 8 p.m., basically past sunset. Uh, so this is, the again, the general area that we're looking at, all valley spots up to about 2,000 feet. And some of the lower foothill spots, we can't discount it. In Auburn, lower spots of Placerville, there's enough dry vegetation and strong winds in those spots where there is a fire risk. Now, unfortunately, there almost always is a human element to the starts of these fires, almost always accidental, but let's just go through some of the things that may happen that have caused fires in the past people uh, towing a trailer. There are security chains that you uh, attach to the back of, of where the hitch is, just in case the hitch comes off, you're gonna hang on to whatever you're towing. Well, sometimes those are loose and long and they drag on the ground. And there has been many, many fires started by that exact scenario, so watch for that. Uh, you wanna maintain the brakes, making sure that you don't ride them too much going down in elevation. Uh, hot brakes can cause uh, tire fires and that could cause uh, wildfires. The other thing too is people may be driving across dry grass, maybe driving to some location, the grass is extra high, it hasn't been mowed, uh, and that hot engine underneath, and at least the exhaust, can start fires. It's happened in the past. Mowing, using a lawn mower on big open fields. So, you know, maybe a, a shovel or a fire extinguisher is a good thing to have in your car just in case you're in one of those things where you can't avoid where you're going or how you're getting there. Uh, you don't want to be the start of an accidental fire uh, later today. Okay, we've got temperatures moving down in the 80s. One thing I think that's important about today is that the numbers are coming down as far as temperatures. We were at uh, triple digits not too long ago. Then we've moved into the 90s. Today we're going to be in the solid 80s, which is above average, uh, but far from the records. And by this evening with less Less wind, uh, the day dwindling down. It's going to be a pretty nice night out there, especially for Friday. We like to see that. So let's go ahead and focus on the wind for one more second here. Uh, the strongest winds are going to be through the morning before noon. Once we get past noon, it's still breezy, but you can see by tonight and early tomorrow morning uh, through the afternoon, Saturday is a much better scenario wind-wise. Windy through the morning with the fire risk, it'll calm down. We've got warmer temperatures ahead in the 90s. A lot of people have been asking about rain, maybe far northern California somewhere. I really just don't see it. Unfortunately, we're going to be stuck in this dry pattern for a long time. So going forward after the fire risk and the wind story today, we're in for a really nice weekend, although a tad warm in the afternoon, Saturday, Sunday. Then looking ahead, we've got triple digit heat coming Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.